Hello friends, this video on classification of elements part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 22. Let's talk about trends in the modern periodic table for the chemical properties. So if you move from left to right or top to bottom, we see the variations in the oxidation states and the anomalous property of second period element. So we will explain both of these. First understand what is oxidation state. This is nothing but an indicator of a degree of oxidation of an atom in a chemical compound. What does it mean? See, this is nothing but hypothetically the charge that an atom would have if all the bonds were ionic bonds. And this is represented by integer. It can be positive, negative or zero. Some case it is fraction also where you take the average. The highest known oxidation is plus 8 for all these uh, tetroxides and the lowest oxidation state is minus 4. That is an atom can have at the max plus 4 charge and minus 4 charge. For example if you see CH4, so this guy gets minus 4 and this guy gets plus 1 plus 1 each so that can be you can see that carbon oxidation is minus 4 and hydrogen oxidation state is plus 1 into 4 is plus 4. Overall it is 0. That's why it's hypothetical charge where we assume that all the bonds are ionic. So in this case not ionic bond, it's covalent bond, we know that. But we assume it's all ionic and it's a hypothetical charge which an atom can have in a molecule. So for pure elements oxidation state is 0. For example, if I take sodium, carbon, hydrogen, any of the pure element I talk about, the oxidation state is 0. For simple ions, oxidation state is equal to net charge. For example, chlorine ions, oxidation state of chlorine ion is minus 1. H plus ion, the oxidation state of H plus ion is plus 1. Right? Na plus, oxidation state is plus 1. Mg plus 2. Oxidation state is plus two, like that, right? Also, one element can have variable oxidation state depending on component forms. For example, HCl. So in this case, it has plus one and Cl minus. So hydrogen has plus one oxidation state. If you talk about LiH, here lithium has plus one, hydrogen has minus one. So here, if you see the same element hydrogen has plus one oxidation state and minus one oxidation state. This is what I have discussed when I discuss groups as I told that one element can have various oxidation state. So here you can see that hydrogen has various oxidation state. In fact most of the elements if you see that they have various oxidation state depending on the component forms. Correct. So oxidation state is also similar to electronegativity where we can't give a specific number for a given element. It has to have a value only when you talk about a particular compound, right? An algebraic sum of oxidation states of all atoms in a neutral molecule is zero. For example, HCl, hydrogen oxygen state is plus one, Cl is minus one, one plus one is zero. Here lithium hydride, lithium is plus one, hydrogen is minus one, plus you add all, it becomes zero. So you add all the oxidation state of any atoms in a neutral molecule, it becomes zero. In case of ions, the algebraic sum of all the oxidation state is nothing but the charge of the ion. So if you see oxidation state is nothing but hypothetical charge item would have if you assume that all the bonds are 100% ionic which is not true. A bond cannot be 100% ionic but in, in fact all the bonds can't be 100% ionic but we assume that all are 100% ionic and then we give hypothetical charge. Right. Also, if you see the indicator of degree of oxidation in a atom. So, if the oxidation number increase, we say it's oxidized. If the oxidation number reduced for a given element in a compound, we say it is reduced. Correct. So, there is some periodicity in the oxidation state. So, if you see, uh, there for all this group one, the number of valence electron is one. And oxidation state is generally 1. For group 2 elements, 
number of valence electron is 2, oxidation state is 2. For group 13, valence electron is 3, oxidation state is 3. 14, for group 14, you have 4 valence electrons, the oxidation state is 4. For group 15, the valence electron is 5 and oxidation state can be 3 or 5 depending on the compound form. So, for group 16, it is number of valence electron is 6, that is fixed, that is fixed, that is independent of compound, but the oxidation state can be 2 or 6. For group 17, the number of valence electron is 7, but the oxidation state can be 1 or 7. For 18, the number of valence is fixed, that is 8, but the oxidation state can be 0 or 8. Right? So, and if you see, this is the general uh, from the group itself, we can find the which hydrides and what it's form. For example, lithium is in group 1, we know that lithium will form LiH. Sodium will form NaH. Potassium will form KH. This is the kind of hydrides group 1 will form. For group 2 element, it will form CaH2 kind of hydrides. For group 3, it will be AlH3 fine or v 2 6 right? Correct? Why? Because if you see, this guy is plus 1, this guy is minus 1, cancels out. Calcium is always plus 2, so you have to add 2 minus 2, so it becomes H2. Aluminium is plus 3, right? So hydrogen has to be 3 hydrogens to compensate this plus 3 because the overall charge is 0 for a compound. Carbon is plus 4, so you need 4 hydrogen to make it 0. Silicon is again is plus 4, so you need 4 hydrogen to make it 0. Similarly, we can do. For example, here, nitrogen. Nitrogen, you see, 3, it can have 3. So, it needs 3 hydrogen to compensate. For here, if you see, oxygen, 2, right, so it will be minus 2 oxygen, so it needs 2 hydrogen. It is minus 3 nitrogen, so it needs 3 nitrogens, like that. For HF here, if you see, there is only 1 minus 1 here, so only 1 is required. So, based on the I mean, with, if we know the oxidation state, we can find the formula of hydrides. Also, formula of oxide also we can find. For example, in this case, lithium had how much? Plus 1, but oxygen has minus 2, so I need 2 lithium. Correct? Similarly, uh, oxygen has minus 2, so magnesium I can need only 1 magnesium. Magnesium is plus 2. So, like that, we can find the formula of hydrides and oxides based on the oxidation state. Correct. Also, let me reiterate oxidation state of an element in a particular compound can be defined as charge acquired by its atom on the basis of electronegative concentration from other atoms in the molecule. Let's take some example using the periodic table to predict the formula of the compound that can be formed from silicon and bromine and aluminium and sulfur. <coughs> Let's start with silicon and bromine first. Silicon atomic number is 14, configuration will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p. Bromine Thirty-five configuration will be one S two, two S two, two P six, three S two, four S two, three D ten, four P five. So the valence shell here in this case silicon has how many? Uh, Electrons 2 plus 2, 4. So valence electron is 4. In this case, how many valence electron? 4, 4, S2 and 4, P5. That is 5 plus 2. That is 7 valence electron. So for bromine, we have 7 valence electron and silicon, we have 4 valence electron. So what is the Valency for silicon 8 minus 7 that is 1 or 7 two possible option and for this guy 4 or 8 minus 4 is 4. So the for silicon the valency is 4 
and for bromine it can be 1 or 7. So if you assume 1 then my formula will be SI Br4. Why? Because silicon will have let's suppose 4 unit of positive charge, bromine will have 1 unit of negative charge. So you need 4 such negative charge to compensate for the whole uh, uh, stability of the molecule because the molecule is neutral. So it will be SI Br. Correct. Let's take aluminium and sulfur. So aluminium is 13 the atomic number. Electronic configuration be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p1. So valence electron count is how much? 2 plus 1, 3. Let's talk about sulfur 16. This becomes 1s2. 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p4. So valence electron is how much? 4 plus 2, 6. So valence will be 8 minus 6, that is 2. So we will have something like Al2s3. Why? Because aluminium has, if you see, plus 3, and this guy has uh, minus 2. So plus 3, 3 and minus 2, the LCM will be 6. So, I will say 6, right? So, 6 by 3 is how much? 2. So, I will make 2 aluminium and 6 by 2 is how much? 3. I will make 3 sulfur. So, I will get Al2S3. Right? Because find the LCM of 3 and 2 and make sure you make a neutral atom. Neutral molecule actually. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.